Hey everybody, so I'm back to do another Talk Tuesday where I do my makeup with you guys while I chat about life. As you can see, I already have on foundation. This is foundation, not BB cream like I typically wear, but I'm doing a first impressions on the Kat Von D uh, Locket Tattoo Fend or yeah, Locket Tattoo Foundation. It is very full coverage, so I have that on right now, but I don't have anything else on, so I thought I would just film this Talk Tuesday with you guys while I put on some concealer. Today is Monday. So this is going up tomorrow, if that gives you reference for what's going on. But yeah, I mean, if, if you're looking for a uh, full coverage foundation, this one is definitely, I mean, I haven't worn it all day, but first impressions, it's pretty nice. My concealer looks crazy light now on it. Uh, it's a darker color, but I've been self-tanning, so uh, I knew it would match with the rest of me, but now my concealer is like really, really light. So we're just gonna have to make that work. All right, so I thought I would just start off with a bit of a story time of why I don't think I'll ever be buying a Groupon again. It happened to me today, and I have had bad experiences buying Groupons in the past. If you want to hear about those, let me know. But I think I'd just tell you about today's. All right, so when I was in hospital, like six weeks ago or whatever, I was really, really bored. I was watching a lot of YouTube videos, and I was watching Samantha Sherman. If you don't know who she is, look her up. She's awesome. She has a beauty channel and a vlog channel, and um, she has lots of skin issues, and she was talking about how she was going for a hydrafacial. And I had never heard of a hydrafacial before, and I started looking into it. It looked so amazing, but honestly, it was really, really expensive. So I was bored. Like I said, I had time. I was looking for deals, and I found a deal local to me on Groupon, and normally... I think hydrafacials were like around $200 or something like that or more and this was I believe $53 for the Groupon and I was like heck yes so I bought that and I uh, ended up booking it for today since I out of hospital and I'm feeling a lot better I called last week to book it and it's really really tricky with timing with kids and whatnot and um, I asked her if we could do it at 9 30 in the morning because I dropped Riley off at preschool at 9 and then I could get there by 9 30 and then I'd be done before I had to pick Riley up from preschool moving the foundation around. Mm, that's not good. Anyway, side note. Um, but my first inclination that something was wrong was she asked me if we could do 10 and I said, oh, I'll have to pick a different day and do it in the afternoon because I can only do 9.30 because I didn't want to be late for Riley. And she's like, oh, 9.30, 9.30, okay. Yeah, I think that will work. So yeah, she agreed to 9.30 last week, but I just, I know she would have preferred 10. So that's kind of my first inclination that something was a little bit off. Mind you, this salon opened at 9, so it's not like I was asking for something, you know, out of their hours. But regardless, today came around and um, I was driving kids around, dropping kids off, and what time was it? 8.45. Around 8.45, I missed a call from her and got a text message, and she was asking if I can come in around 10-ish. It actually said ish, and I was like... Ah, like I asked for 9.30 for a reason, you know, how long does the facial take? And she said 40 minutes. And I thought it'd be at least an hour, so I was like, 40 minutes? Okay, I think that's doable. I mean, it sucked for me because it, I had to drive there and there wasn't much to do in the area, so I had to just kind of wait around. But I was like, I can make 10 work, I won't be late for Riley, so no problem. So anyways, I got there at like 5 minutes, 5 minutes to 10 or so. I wasn't super, super early. I was pretty close to 10 o'clock. And 10 o'clock came around and she still wasn't there. And 10.05 came around and she wasn't there. And I just had a bad feeling again but I waited it out because what was I gonna do I wasn't gonna go home I had paid for this group on so anyways I stayed she showed up around just around 10 10 and uh, she was really nice I'll give her that she was apologetic even though I had a feeling she'd be late anyways when she said 10 ish um, she did apologize for being late which I appreciated um, this is like distracting me so I want to show you this these talk Tuesdays are all over the place it's a new essence blush how pretty is that so anyways, she brought me right into the room and got me started immediately. Like, she didn't even drop her stuff. She just got me started. And she's like, okay, so you have a Groupon? I was like, yeah, I have a Groupon. And I, she's like, how did you hear about Hydrafacial? And I told her, and I'm like, I've heard great things. She's like, yeah, it's really amazing. Was, it's, it's like a special machine, if you don't know what a Hydrafacial is. It's a very special machine that, like, suctions your face and puts good, good stuff back into your face and whatnot. So I was really excited about it. And then she goes, yeah, so the Groupon isn't actually for... The hydrofacial md it's for the hydrofacial silk or something like that like something different and i was like oh well that's not what the groupon said she's like yeah yeah it's very nice though very nice but the hydrofacial md is more expensive like there's no groupon for that so i'm already there laying in the bed it's not like i'm gonna say no don't do it because i've paid for the groupon and i'm not one to cause a fuss like 
oh, I was just very, very irritated. So yeah, like I said, she convinced me that um, it was going to be nice and that people love it and blah, 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 blah. So I wasn't going to get up and leave, so I stayed for it. And... I mean, it was okay. It was the fastest facial I've ever had. Like, she was swiping things over my face. She did use the suction machine once, so it's not like I didn't get any of that. Although, I don't think it was the proper actual hydrofacial machine. Like, she was referring to as the more expensive one, which was kind of annoying. But I did get something. But it's like, there was no ambiance. Like, if you had a facial before in a spa, there was nothing like that. It was like slip, slap, slop, getting everything on, wiping it off, getting it on, getting it off. It was just so fast and my skin feels nice but it wasn't anything special like I definitely wouldn't do it again and then the kicker is when I came out it was 9 40 so it only took half an hour instead of the 40 minutes that she said it would take which is whatever like I don't really care but there was somebody waiting for their appointment and she apologized to them for being late so I'm assuming they had a 9 30 appointment and I came out at 9 40 so it's like she only booked half an hour for herself regardless and then was 10 minutes late even though it was supposed to be a 40 minute thing. I just, I can't understand lateness. I am not a late person. Um, my mom always taught me to be an early person, like ingrained it into our head and so we are forever, my sister and I, like super early people, probably too early. Um, and I don't think the whole world needs to be like that, but I just can't understand people that can't time manage, especially when it comes to other people's time. I just find it really disrespectful, especially if it's your job. I don't know, so needless to say, I've had some bad experiences with Groupon and I don't think I'll be purchasing anything off Groupon anytime soon. Bye. Eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this one, it's Sahara Treasure. If you watched my beauty channel back when I had it, I use this all the time. It's a L'Oreal Infallible and it's so, so pretty. So maybe I'll zoom you guys in a little bit more so you can see what it looks like. This foundation is quite dewy like I don't have any highlight on right now and the blush is matte I think that's all the foundation wow I'm too tall up now too tall up good English Allison so I'll show you what that looks like on the eyelids very very sparkly and yet neutral at the same time it goes with everything I just put like a cool tone brown in the crease and I've had this eyeshadow for years and it's I have a number of shades and they have not gotten old like they still work really really well but yeah for the rest of today I have swim club as usual it's every day of the week in case you're wondering and then we have a girl guides like a sparks end of year ceremony so we have that tonight so we're very very busy and um, I know you guys in the states your a lot of schools end at like the end of May I think or at the beginning where's the lid there it is, or the beginning of um, June. But here in BC, school ends at the very, very end of June. So I'm somewhat jealous watching all your kids graduate and get out of school already. We only have a couple weeks left, but I'm definitely looking forward to summer. I know by the end of summer, I'll be ready for the kids to get back to school, but right now I'm just ready to not be as scheduled and on as, as on a routine. So yeah, I'm going to try out this eyeliner that I got in my boxy charm. I'll link that down below if you want to see that video. Pure Minerals Double Ego Eyeliner. It's in like this olive green color. One of the sides, this side's sparkly, which I'm not into. But this is like one of those pens, so let's give that a go. Alright, so it was decent. I don't really like the flick on it, but it's pretty pigmented, so that's nice. I'm going to just throw on some eyebrow gel here. Picked up a new uh, lip liner that I've been really liking. It's Marcel. I got it, where did I get it? Superstore, I think. Are you going to focus? Again, it's not a brand I know, I don't know if this is everywhere, but it's really, really creamy and it's like this nude color, so I've been liking that. But yeah, realized I can't talk and do lip liner, but I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I've been really, really sleepy, I'm not going to lie. Here's my mascara. Um, I have one more day left of prednisone, which is awesome. It's a steroid I've been on for two months now, which makes my face expand and, well, everything expand, really. I've banned myself from going on this scale because it just makes me upset until I'm off prednisone. I'm doing everything I can to keep the weight down, but just the steroid but now and everything I've read is that once you come off a steroid it's like your body has to learn how to um, create that I think it's cortisol whatever not drug but 
can't think right now. Whatever thing within your body gives you energy, the steroid kind of took over that when you were taking it and then your body has to start making that for you on its own again. And so now that I'm on to such a low dose and I only have one day left, I'm sure it's going to hit me even harder when I stop. I'm just so tired. And it's funny because I went from like crazy energy, like if you guys saw me last month, I was like up at four, ready to run a marathon, to very, very tired. So I just can't wait to kind of even out. All right, so here's my finished makeup for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation. It's crazy, I'm telling you. Look out for that review. But like I said, hope you guys are all doing well. Feel free to chat with me down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.